I used to think the brain was the most important organ. Then I was like, but wait, look what's telling me that. You're welcome. Today I'm going to show you the Blue Eddy 1000 watt portable power station. So this thing is really neat because it's an inverter and charge controller built into the same unit. So if you have a camp and, uh, that has no running power and you don't have solar and you're kind of contemplating what to do with your, with your camp or cottage or hunting camp, whatever it may be, this may be an easier option than running solar because everything is literally in this unit. It's pretty cool. A thousand running watts is a really pretty good system. Here at our house, it can run the TV and we have a 65 inch TV. It can run the treadmill. It could run the fridge. It could run all of our lights and stuff. So if you just have like a small off grid camp sort of thing, no, obviously not a home that you're using all the time because we, this is our home that we live in, but we do have solar and backup generators and stuff as well. So it wouldn't run everything in your house, but it's a really great little unit for a camp. Like I said, then you don't have to go out and buy a bunch of solar panels, charge controller, converter, all the wiring, hook it all up. It's literally all right here in this box. It's pretty awesome. Now, this unit obviously needs to be charged. So it does have, so you can see here, there is a plug here. So you can plug it in either if you want to do, you can carry it, it's pretty lightweight. It's maybe 40, 50 pounds, but it's not, I mean, it's not that bad. You could easily carry it back and forth. So when you go home, you bring your plug, plug it in, charge it up at your house and bring it back with you to the camp when you go. Or if you don't want to take it and you want to just leave it at the camp, you can connect a solar panel to it. So it comes with the cord right here for your solar. So this plug here, the input DC, you can either plug this here, this unit, if you're going to take it back and forth with you, take it home, plug it in, or if you have a way in your car to plug it in. So you can do that. Or you can plug it into solar unit. We haven't used this yet, obviously. It's still tied up. So we got this plug here. And again, plug it in here. Grab your portable solar panels. And plug it in. So, pretty awesome. So you could just have it sitting out in the sun all day charging up for you to use later or you could have the cords run outside and have your solar panel outside this inside charging up while you're using it so on the back here it has two ac outlets 110 volts for a thousand watts for most of your home appliances under a thousand watts will work you plug them into here then at the front we have four USB ports and a DC 12 volt for in anything in your car that you want to plug it into. If you're using it in the car or a device for the car, you can plug it right in here. The USB ports, which is really awesome. So to turn it on, you just hold the top here. There you go. Tells you the watts. Tells you the battery life. If you're using DC, you just press that one. Turn on whichever one you're using. To fully charge this unit on solar takes about eight to eight and a half hours, which isn't that bad and it's fully charged. And it comes with a 24 months maintenance or replacement. So that's pretty awesome, two years. It's a, it's a little bit of a more expensive unit, but in all reality, it saves you going out, like I said, and buying the charge controller, the inverter, the panels, all the wiring. It literally all is just right here. So that's pretty awesome. That is, we find it super handy to have this. So in the evenings when we were running the generator to watch the TV and, and have some lights on, we no longer have to do that. We can just plug into this baby and run the whole evening. It's, it's really great, saves a lot of money there. So again, if you're interested, it's the Blue Eddy EB150. Pretty awesome portable power station. Has everything in it you need. Really great if you have a small camp, hunting camp, cottage, even your RV, I mean, it would be great for there. If you're dry camping, it'd be pretty awesome to plug your RV into this thing. 
that would actually be a really great idea if your batteries go and you have this as a backup if you're tenting bring this you could run some lights you could I don't know if you have some sort of cooker that needs power or you have a you need you have a stereo you want to listen to music anything like that you could bring this with you and now you've got a whole bunch of power even in your tent so it's a cool unit check it out there's a bunch of codes underneath for all different countries where you can save a ton of money you just type in the code based on what country you're in uh, check out their website links are below again use those codes depending on what country you're in to save some some good money on it so it's a good unit have a look before we wrap this up i'm just going to give you a quick example me and my helper here we're going to give you a quick example of it running on a whole bunch of stuff so here i have the cord that runs the tv the playstation i can plug in my treadmill it usually plugs all into this one power cord down here and we usually run it off the generator so i'm going to plug it in to this unit right now and the satellite dish so i'm just going to plug it into this unit right now and we'll test it all out I haven't ran all these things on it at one time yet, so I'm literally trying right now, but I think it'll work. We've run the TV and the PlayStation off it at the same time, but I'm gonna try the treadmill as well and see if we can do that. So I've got the, turning the TV on, that's the satellite dish, and I'm gonna turn on the PlayStation. So I have the TV and the PlayStation on right now, but I'm gonna turn the satellite on in the background. That way, if you happen to be recording something on your satellite, PVRing something, at the same time as playing the PlayStation with the TV on, we're just gonna see how this works with everything going. So, so as you can see, the PlayStation's on, the TV's on, and the satellite dish are on. Now let's test it out and try and turn the treadmill on at the same time. This is something we haven't done yet, so we're gonna give it a go. Okay, so, so far with the TV, the satellite dish, and the PlayStation, it's 232 watts. And again, we get a thousand. So let's test it with the uh, treadmill. All right, so I'm gonna get the treadmill running and then we'll go back over and we'll check the watts. So I'll put it on an incline cause that's what I would normally do anyway. We'll go to the maximum incline, which is 10. I'm bringing it up right now. to the maximum incline of 10. Now we'll increase our speed because this is like snail speed. We'll just go up to two. So now we got it all the way up to a speed of two. In maximum incline of 10. Let's check and see how it is. It's running behind me and it's running about three, yeah, 316, 314. So not bad at all, still lots of watts if we wanted to do anything else. All right, since there's still a ton of power that can be used, I'm gonna run over and turn it on to full speed, which I would absolutely never do. <laughs> but just to show you what this thing's capable of. All right, here now we're seeing it really take some power. So it's 694, 690, okay, it's settling down a little, 688. I mean, that thing's going full speed, highest incline possible, and we still have a few hundred watts to use. So like I said, I got all this stuff running, the TV, the satellite, the PlayStation, and the treadmill at the maximum incline, maximum speed. There's still power left in this baby. So I think it's a pretty good unit. So again, check out all the links in the description below to learn more about it and for all the discount codes based on your country. Say hi.